Hi everybody, welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I hope your chocolate covered strawberry whoopie pies from last week turned out fabulous, and I also hope you had a great Valentine's Day. If you missed that episode, you can check it out right here. In order to continue celebrating this lovely Valentine's Day season and some French baking, today we are going to be making Earl Grey and Lavender Madeleines. These will actually be made in two different parts. The first part is going to be making the Madeleine sponge cakes themselves. And the second part is to create a delicious white chocolate and Earl Grey coating shell that we will put on top of our madeleines. You're going to need the following ingredients for this recipe. Half a cup of unsalted butter melted, plus two additional tablespoons for buttering the pan, two large eggs at room temperature, half a cup of lavender sugar, and if you need to know how to make lavender sugar, please check out our strawberry lavender pie episode. You'll also need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Our first step, I do have my stand mixer out with my whisk attachment. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a handheld mixer for this as well. You will need to use your mixer and beat for about eight minutes. So if you have a stand mixer, I would recommend using that over a hand mixer just so that way you're not having to mix with your arms for eight minutes. Um, but if you, if you don't have a sandwich tip, that's okay. You can still bake this recipe with me. What we're going to do is combine our eggs and the sugar here into our bowl. And we're going to beat on high for about, like I said, eight minutes until the mixture is really, really pale and fluffy and light. And at that point, you can stop, add in your vanilla and mix once again. <laughs> Our egg and sugar mixture is done and beautiful. As you can see, the egg mixture kind of came off these beautiful ribbons off the whisk, which is great. It's exactly what we want. I have put my bowl here to the side, but we will need to use it again in just a minute. I have here another mixing bowl as well as a whisk and a rubber spatula. We're going to combine our dry ingredients into our mixing bowl and whisk it together so everything is well combined. So what you're going to do is slowly add your dry ingredients into your egg mixture using our spatula. I do recommend adding the dry ingredients about a third at a time, so don't just dump it all in. And then you'll gently, gently, gently fold it in. This batter is very delicate and we want to keep it light and fluffy from the whisking, so don't be too aggressive with the mixing and only do a third at a time. <laughs> Our batter is almost done. The next step is to take a quarter cup measuring cup and you're gonna scoop out a quarter of your batter and add it to your melted butter. I have here a smaller rubber spatula and I'm going to start mixing the uh, little quarter cup of batter in with my butter until everything's really well combined. It will take a minute or two to get everything incorporated together. And once the little scoop of batter has been combined with your butter, then you can uh, transfer it back into your larger mixing bowl with the rest of your batter. And again, fold it in gently until everything's well combined. <laughs> Our batter is mixed and it looks great. The next step is to cover your bowl tightly with some plastic wrap and put it in your refrigerator to chill. 
It's going to chill for anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes, but not longer than an hour. At the tail end of your wait time, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And that way, once your, once your batter is done chilling, then we can also get these prepared to be put into the oven. We will see you in the next 30 to 45 minutes. As you can see, my Madeleine pan is actually shaped like little hearts in honor of the season of love. But if you buy a Madeleine pan yourself, you don't have to get a heart shaped one. You can get the traditional scallop shaped pan. They'll work just as the same and it'll be just as delicious. After you add your thin layer of butter into your pan, what you're going to do is transfer your batter from your bowl into a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. You're going to pipe the batter into each of the wells in your pan about three quarters of the way full, then this is ready for baking. You're going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the batter has fully cooked and when you touch the top of the madeleines, they spring back to the touch. Our madeleines are out of the oven. I have mine cooling here on a wire rack. The heart shape is too cute. I am absolutely in love. They smell fantastic. This lavender is amazing. I might have eaten one when I pulled it out of the oven. They're really delicious and this coating is gonna make them even better. What you're going to need next to make our Earl Grey coating is one cup of white chocolate melting wafers, half a tablespoon of finely ground Earl Grey tea, and red food coloring, which is completely optional. What you're going to do is melt your wafers in your microwave. I'm gonna put mine on about 30 second bursts at a time, and you'll use a fork to mix it in between each uh, microwave burst. Um, once your wafers have fully melted and they're ready to go, then you can add in your tea and some of this food coloring. I'm gonna hopefully get a really beautiful pink color in honor of Valentine's Day. And then what we'll do is take a spoon and you'll generously spoon some of the white chocolate into each well in your madeleine pan. And then you'll place your madeleines back in the pan face down. So just as they bake, so you'll put them back in the same way. After that, what you'll do is put your pan into your freezer for about 10 minutes or so until the chocolate has fully hardened and set. Then you should be able to invert your pan and take your rare madeleines out and they'll be ready for serving. <music> over this gorgeous shell color. Can we talk about how beautiful this pink is? And the little teeny speckles from the Earl Grey tea are amazing. The color and the texture, especially from the scalp little wells in our pan, these look fantastic. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Thank you so much for joining me today while we made these beautiful Earl Grey and Lavender Madeleines. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with me today. I appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on this journey from banker to baker. You can also follow us on social media or visit our website for this and all of our other fun recipes. Until next time, I hope you have a very happy bake day.